Now, scientists and medical doctors are working side by side at the University of Pittsburgh to come up with a new way of vaccinating people. Rick Dayton reports it could eventually be useful in the battle against coronavirus. Researchers at the University of Pittsburgh may have a new way to get vaccines to people who need them most. What we're using to deliver this vaccine uh, is a novel device which is known as a microneedle array. It looks like a tiny patch of Velcro that literally gets stuck to the patient. It's something the size of your fingertip, but instead there are 400 tiny needles, each one the width of a human hair. Unlike getting a shot, these needles are so short they penetrate just the top layer of skin. There is no blood, not even pain. Based on what's put in them, Pitt researchers say this is a candidate vaccine for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. If you want to develop a coronavirus vaccine, uh, you look at a spike protein and a particular portion of spike protein, which is the portion that binds uh, the receptor in the cell uh, that the, the virus used to enter. Dr. Falo is a dermatologist and PhD. He says the way our skin works is a big reason they believe this can be effective. But the skin is really the first line of defense for bacteria and viruses, and because of that, it has evolved a very efficient immune response. And so the skin has specialized immune cells that have developed just to make these kinds of responses. The vaccines can be mass produced in a lab, and depending on what's added to the mix, they can be customized. It's a complex sugar that hardens. When you mix that sugar, when it's in the fluid phase, uh, you can mix it with an antigen and then harden that in a mold. The next step, gaining approval from the FDA for clinical trials to start. Rick Dayton, KDKA News.